Now today I wanna to talk about eggs. Now eggs, they come in a lot of different kinds and it's a little bit confusing. I know when I first started looking at this because through the 80s and 90s, eggs kind of got vilified because of all the cholesterol stuff, but I don't think they're as bad. I think they were just pushing the statin drugs back then and that was kind of their agenda. And you know, so I think they kind of vilified eggs saying that it raised your bad cholesterol. I don't think a few eggs every day are bad. I think there's a lot worse things that you can eat. Eggs come from chickens, you know, if they're ethically sourced and they're good eggs, I think they can be a super healthy addition to your diet. Now today I wanna to take a look at these eggs because there's a lot of different things going on with the eggs and there's a little bit of marketing trickery going on with the eggs. Now the first eggs I'm gonna talk about are just plain eggs. You're just gonna see it just says large eggs on them. There's nothing else really said. There's no designation for the egg describing what the eggs are, or how they're raised, or anything. Really, when you crack these eggs, they crack really easily. The eggs, they look a little funny. These eggs will be raised in a cage. They will be in a tiny little cage that's about one foot by one foot, and they will be fed normally a diet that's just soy and wheat and things that chickens normally don't eat. They won't move around. They won't have access to the outside. And basically they're just sitting there in the cage and you know, they want them to produce as many eggs as they possibly can. This is the one type of egg that I would avoid the most. The next type of egg I'm gonna talk about are free run eggs. Now basically all these mean are that the chickens are kept in a big warehouse. There can be thousands of chickens in there. And and they're not in a cage, so they can run around wherever they want. They can kind of, you know, mingle around with each other. And you'll see some of these on the documentaries. They look really bad. The chickens never really see the light of day, but they are able to run free within the barn. These are a type of egg that I would avoid. I don't think these eggs are good. Okay, the next type of egg I'm gonna talk about are free range eggs. Now, free range eggs, the chickens have to have access to the outside. This is where the marketing trickery kind of begins because it doesn't mean that the chickens go outside. It means that they have to have access to the outside. And depending which state or which country you're talking about, they might only have, you know, small access to a door and a little outside area where only a few chickens would fit. It just depends on the state and the laws and the way they've worded all. So even though, you know, this may feel good when you're buying these free range eggs, I wouldn't buy these either because it means the chickens spent most of their time inside and they're probably fed a diet that chickens normally wouldn't eat. So I'd avoid these free range eggs as well. The next type of egg I'm gonna talk about are organic eggs. Now, of course, organic is all the rage now. Everybody's sick of all the pesticides and herbicides and everything in our food. So I try and buy as much organic fruits and vegetables as I can. There's the clean 15 and the dirty dozen. Of course, you can look those up because you don't wanna waste your money spending money on organic things that you really don't need to. But when it comes to eggs, this really doesn't mean a lot. It means that the food is certified organic, that they feed the chickens. You can see it says free range on here. We know now that that's just a little bit of marketing trickery, that they have room to move around within the barn if they're free range. So really these organic eggs, I wouldn't buy these either. Now, some of these are actually laughable. I mean, this one, it says veggie fed. I mean, what do people think that uh, there's carnivore chickens out there. I mean, I have heard some stories where chickens have been fed some really strange things, some animal byproducts and stuff like that. But I mean, all chickens are eating veggies, you know, they're scourging their outside. Even, you know, the very best eggs, you know, are usually eating bugs and small things like that because they're outside, they're foraging around, right? But these veggie fed, this is just another marketing gimmick. I wouldn't fall for this either. All right, another type of eggs are these omega-3 eggs. Now there's actually been studies that have been done. And I mean, these are fed a diet that's enriched in omega-3. You would think that the omega-3s in the eggs would be higher than, you know, any other egg because they're fed this omega-3 diet. But in actual fact, there's been studies that have been shown that if you take eggs that are properly grown, properly fed chickens, properly well-treated chickens, the omega-3s in those eggs are actually higher than the omega-3s in these eggs that are fed this diet supposedly high in omega-3s. So you're just better off buying the higher quality 
quality eggs, and they're the ones that I'm gonna talk about next. The best eggs you can get are Vital Farms eggs if you're gonna be buying them from the grocery store. Now, Vital Farms has a couple of different types. They have the organic ones, and then they have the regular ones. When I'm out at work, I always buy these eggs. I remember when I first started buying them, I seen them in the grocery store. They come in a really nice box, a little bit different packaging than you know all the other eggs. Plus, you open them up, they have a little insert inside that tells you about the farm, tells you about how they've collected them all, and tells you where they've come from. They have like 300 different farms where they collect these eggs, all from little local farmers that care about how the chickens are raised. Each chicken, they're pasture raised. So the chicken is out in the pasture. They each have a designated amount of space, you know, so they can get bugs and grass and rocks and everything else that chickens eat, right? And they're just better eggs. And I mean, buying these eggs, you're supporting local farmers. So you're not supporting some big, huge corporation that really doesn't care about your health. You're supporting local farmers that actually care about your health. And they're just better eggs. They're the best eggs that you're gonna be able to get from the grocery store. Vital Farms, have a look at them. We've gone through a lot of different eggs, you know, especially all the ones in the grocery store, all the marketing trickery. You're gonna know a little bit more about that now so you can make an educated decision. Now there's one last type of egg that I wanna talk about. And everybody who lives, you know, kind of close to a rural area or outside a city, if you're downtown in a city in a high rise, I'm sure you can even get to a farmer's market or something like that. And they're the absolute best eggs. If you can find somebody who has a few chickens, who has a small farm, little hobby farm even, maybe they're not, this isn't their living, but they're making a little bit of money on the side from it, you know, and they're the eggs that we get. And where I live, there's a bunch of local farms like this. Some of the stores and the butcher shops and a few of the grocery stores actually even carry these eggs that come from these small little hobby farms. And you'll notice if you look at this egg, you can see it's got a bunch of dirt on it. And I mean, they're not even washed because then they can last without putting them even in the fridge. They have that coating on them that, you know, keeps them fresh. And these eggs, you'll notice, I have a couple of shells here. And this is from a conventional egg. And you can see this shell is just super, super weak. Like you can just break it. And then these shells, you can even hear it. They're a little harder and they're harder to break. You can tell there's, there's more to them. They're just in better shape. You can tell these chickens, they're not fed a great diet and they're probably really highly stressed, you know, when they're in these cages and when they're just in these big barns, right? And so if you can find eggs that are, you know, being sold by somebody local, somebody in your town, somebody outside of your town, then they are the absolute best ones. I mean, if you could get some chickens yourself too, and you could do that, I would love to do that too. I mean, when I was a kid, we had a big hobby farm. We had chickens all the time. We had meat hens, lane hens, pigs, goats course, you know, we had all kinds of stuff and put a big garden in too. And I used to have to collect the eggs every day. I would love to get an acreage and move towards that. But for the time being, I'm buying these eggs from somebody local. They're really great. Now, one last thing I want to show you guys, these are what the eggs actually look like when you crack the eggs. These are just the caged eggs that are in the cage. And you can see, I actually left these in the fridge overnight. And you can see this one, it's very strange. It's gotten very hard and it's got this weird, kind of white film or something that's going on it. Now, this is the egg from the local farmer, from the girl that we buy them from. And you can see it's still nice and orange. You can see the pale yellow weird color to that. And you can just see that this egg, it just looks so much better, the orange and everything in the color. And so these are the eggs you want to be eating. They're going to have more nutrients in them. They're going to have less chemicals in them. These chickens are eating what they were meant to eat by nature, not the soy and the wheats and all this stuff, just to try and get them to produce as many eggs as possible. So whenever you can buy these eggs you know they're gonna have a little dirt on them maybe a little bit of chicken poo but you know these are absolutely the best eggs and you want to put the best thing in your body when you're trying to lose belly fat or you're trying to get healthy take care guys